F1, F2. It depends what you set it up to. Push Y, double tap Y. Oh shit! <laughs> you fucking shot, shot me in the chest. Guys. You fucking son of a bitch. I don't know what happened. I just got shot in the chest. Fry, did you fucking shoot me? No. So after the success of the Twitch drops for Escape from Tarkov, boosting its viewership to the top of Twitch with over 200,000 viewers watching at any given time, the amount of EFT related content is soaring right now. If you're seeing this game for the first time and wondering if it's worth your time, I'm here to answer that question. Is Escape from Tarkov worth playing in 2020? My name is Big Fry, and let's get into it. So what is Escape from Tarkov? Escape from Tarkov, otherwise known as EFT, is a hardcore looter shooter with survival elements and a skill system reminiscent of your favorite RPG. Truth be told, there's a lot going on here. You have a global inventory of loot where you stash guns, ammo, med supplies, and about a million other parts and gadgets and cash. You find your loot by going into a raid. Raids are your levels and can range from your CQC, small maps like factory, to large scale forestry environments, all the way to an indoor shopping center with interchange. These maps are chock full of loot, AI scavs, as well as other players, all trying to kill you and take your stuff. Once you spawn into a raid, the objective is simple. Survive an extract within the time limit given, which could be 30 to 40 minutes. What you do in that time is up to you. You can kill, stock, loot, it's a battleground. You can run solo or with a group of up to five of your friends, but be warned, this game is hardcore. There's no HUD, no indicator of friendly, you have to use comms to differentiate friend from foe, and you better be quick about it. If you're going in as a new player, chances are the armor selection is scarce, which means you have the chance to be killed in only one or two shots, and if you die, you lose everything you have on you. Now this style of gameplay will make your heart race as you slowly creep between trees and buildings, trying not to make noise and alert the enemies as you loot up. This game offers an experience unlike any other game on the market, and it's only getting better with time. Now as you loot and extract, your character gains levels and skills alongside, much like an RPG. Level up your endurance to sprint longer, vitality to increase the chance of surviving a critical wound, and each weapon type you use also has a specific level. So if you frequently use SMGs and decide to spawn in with a sniper you picked up off a scav, your character will handle the weapon differently. All of these skills sit alongside a health system that the casual FPS fan has probably had nightmares about. Each limb has its own health, and wounds affect each part of the character differently. Shot in the leg? Chances are, unless you have a splint or a means to wrap it up, you're going to find yourself limping towards the extraction in excruciating pain. Items like painkillers and morphine lend a hand in getting out alive. One of the biggest draws to EFT is the weapon modding. With millions of weapon parts you can use to Frankenstein a weapon together, it's a gunsmith's wet dream. M4A1s with drum mags and side mount sights, Glocks with stocks and drum mags, the combinations are endless and can be pretty overwhelming. Luckily, they recently added a flea market, which is a player-run economic auction house that is pretty sophisticated with the search options for all of these parts, making it easier to learn what part goes where and how to buy it with in-game currency. You can also use this currency to level up your hideout, which has a ton of options to boost your character's well-being. With water collection, medical stations, and workbenches, you can build up to craft items and earn you money. So all in all, this game offers a lot in terms of gameplay systems that are all eventually going to work together in tandem to create one of the most unique FPS experiences in gaming. Keep in mind this game is still in beta and has a long way to go before it is a complete total product. So how much is Escape from Tarkov at the current moment? At the time of recording, this game currently has four different versions for sale. Your standard edition, which is $39 US, offers you the base game, a basic stash size of 10 by 26, and starting equipment listed on screen. Your Left Behind Edition, which is $65, offers you the game, an increased stash size of 10 by 36, so 10 more slots, and starting equipment that you can see here. Prepare for Escape Edition, which is $89, offers a stash size of 10 by 46, and starting equipment that you see on screen. And then you have the Big Daddy, the Edge of Darkness Edition, which is $122 US, which has the largest stash size at 10 by 66, a plethora of starting equipment, 
as well as free access to future DLCs which haven't been discussed as of yet. And if you buy multiple copies of each version, you do get discounted prices for each copy. So if you were to buy four, say, Left Behind editions, they offer you a 20% discount. So if you're jumping in with friends, this would be the way to do it at the cheapest price. But the big question is, should you bother? Is this game worth your time as an FPS player? I would say that if you have a beefy rig and you want to play an FPS unlike any other FPS in the market, one that offers a hardcore experience with plenty of loot, gear, and tense moments, then yes, I think you should give Escape from Tarkov a try. If you're a more casual FPS player, this may not be for you, but it's hard to say. This is definitely a game targeted towards a certain demographic. On top of all of that, the game is still currently being developed, which means with big updates comes stash wipes, forcing you to start all over and grind again. Some players like that, some players get frustrated. Optimization is still a key factor in the future of this title, with the game still requiring a beefed up system to run at solid frame rates. And on top of all of that, the company's PR has had its ups and downs in the past, with portions of the fanbase wanting Battlestate games to just be quiet, work on the game and keep it moving. Take the PR blunders of the past out of the equation and you have one of the most incredible FPS experiences of all time. And that's just my opinion. I've had my run-ins with Battlestate in the past. I've covered their PR blunders as well as the game itself. And I've always said I wanted to wait until this game was in a state to which I could play it consistently with not a lot of problems in terms of frame rate and frame dips. And I I'm glad to say at this point in time, the game is at that point. There are still optimization issues and there is still a lot to want when it comes to the development of this game, but I have to say, it's at a point now where I can play it with my community on Twitch and enjoy it. So much so that at the end of this month, every subscriber who subs to me on Twitch is entered into a giveaway to win a copy of Escape from Tarkov. I'm just giving away a copy because at this point in the dev cycle, I'm actually okay with putting my name behind it. I'm actually okay with supporting this game. As long as we see no more PR blunders and we just see this game get better and better and better and it has a over the past few years and I'm happy to report that and that's why I wanted to make this video. I hope you guys enjoy the editing on this one. I put a lot of time into it and I wanted to showcase it in a nice clean and concise way. Let me know what you guys think down below. I want to do more videos like this where I revisit games that maybe I wrote off in the past or I waited to, to see if they would get better and now might be the time to check them out. Let me know what you guys think down below. If you guys want to come through to my live streams, I play this game essentially all the time alongside Star Citizen and I'm having an absolute blast with both of these games and now I'm at a point where I can just watch them grow watch them get developed further and just grow the community with these games my name is Big Fry thank you guys for watching if you guys enjoyed the video leave a like on it and consider subscribing I appreciate you guys so much and I'll see you on the next one